All right, good morning, Kira. So, the one thing I want to show you about the question that you asked is this, okay? You have two things you're trying to learn. You're trying to look at fractions, okay? Fractions, and you're trying to look at a number line, okay? So you have two mathematical concepts at play here. All right, let's think about what we already know about number lines. So we, what do we know about number lines? We know that when making a number line, um, you need to have several things. The first thing is number lines must always start with zero. Okay? And the second thing is that they must be evenly spaced. So I'm going to make um, a number line. I'm going to, so I've got 10 here. So obviously this is a bit difficult for me because I'm not using pen and paper, but you'll get the idea. I have to divide it into 10 equal parts to make it tenths. There's one part, two parts, three parts, four parts, five parts, six parts, seven parts, eight parts, nine parts, and there is my tenth part. Now, additionally, I can break this into another fraction. So when we're talking about, so in my tenths, they're a fraction, so a fraction on the number line, they're evenly spaced into ten equal parts, hence it's tenths. I'm now going to break it into fifths, so I need five equal parts. So I'm going to go, I'm going to make these um, underneath the line. One, two, th oops, three, four, five. Five equal parts. I'm just going to see if I can rub out this line here. Okay. All right, five equal parts. I'll just put that back in. A bit tricky, but anyway, you get the idea. Now, Kira, what we know is this, okay? When they label their number line, when they label their number line, they labeled it incorrectly. They said that this point here was one tenth, but that's not right, is it? We know that the label has to go directly above the marker, one tenth, okay? So this one here, where we are here, this is one tenth, two tenths, three tenths. Let's look at four tenths for a second. Four tenths, so it has to be labelled directly above the marker. Not in the space between, like this one, not like that. That is wrong, okay? And if we look underneath, it's also two-fifths. Two-fifths. Four tenths is the same as two-fifths, hence why they are equivalent fractions. The reason why your example was wrong was that it was labelled in the spaces. So it was labelled here. They said that this space here was eight-tenths instead of it actually going on the marker. And that's why your example was wrong.